Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Sunday afternoon, December the 18th, and this is my Echo Base Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Before I begin my analysis of two big stake races from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park on Sunday afternoon, just let me let you know that I'm adding a third thoroughbred racing handicapping product to my arsenal, now also adding WagerMate in addition to Race Analyzer and, of course, Trackmaster Plus. Let's go to the Big A first, Race 8, 3.46 p.m. Eastern Post Time. The Flying Chevron Stakes, a mile 70 yard test on the inner dirt track. Three-year-olds race for $60,000. Contenders, number one, Social Saul. Number four, Norman Asborgson. Number three, San Pablo. And number six, Global Power. Number one, Social Saul, the overall speed and pace profile leader in this stakes field, racing at or about today's distance of a mile 70 yards on the inner dirt. has been a power run performer in each of his last five, hitting the board in four of those adventures, including a power run win in his fifth race back. Number four, Norman Asborson on a 6-1 to one shot has turned in power run efforts in three straight, hitting the board in a pair, including a power run win in his third race back. Jockey Javier Santiago and trainer Chris Groves send him post for today. They fit the board with an impressive 79% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Race 8 summary, number 1, Social Saul tops the contenders list, which also includes number 4, Norman S. Borgeson. I have absolutely no idea how to pronounce this horse's name, folks, so excuse me if I'm doing it incorrectly. Number 3, San, pa San Pablo, and number 6, Global Power, 1436, and the 8th from Aqueduct, the $60,000 Flying Chevron Stakes. Let's go to Gulfstream Park next for their featured stake race on the card. Race 10, 4, 15 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Dania Beach Stakes. It's a mile test on the turf. Two-year-olds race for $100,000. Contenders number 2, X Capper. Number 8, Finale. Number 10, Italo. And number 9, Summer Front. Number 2, X Capper, a 5-to-1 shot, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Has hit the board in three of his four career starts to date with two of those successes, including a win in his first asking, also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Emma Jane Wilson was in her irons for all four of those races with that win leading to a positive 98% return on investment overall. Wilson is back today for her fifth ride gunning for another circle trip. Number eight finale has won three of her last four adventures, including a power run win. In his second race back, jockey Johnny Velasquez and trainer Todd Pletcher send them to the post for the Sunday feature. They've whacked the tote board with 55% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Race 10 summary, number 2, X Capper, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 8, Finale, number 10, Italo, and number 9, Summer Front, 2, 8, 10, 9, and the 10th from Gulfstream, the $100,000. Dania Beach Stakes. Bonus long shots, both from tracks in West Virginia. Charlestown, race three. Number one, don't cut me off. A four to one shot drops in class. Nice overall speed for this four and a half for a long sprint. Mountaineer Park, race number three. Number two, cut loose. Eight to one on the morning line. Takes a slight class drop. Is the speed leader in this maiden field sprinting at or about tonight's distance of five and one half furlongs on the dirt. So handicapping from both Gulfstream and Aqueduct using Race Analyzer, WagerMate, and TrackMaster Plus software. Rick Needham reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.